Hi, my name is Joseph McLean, and I am a software developer with Cohort 17 at the Guildhall at SMU. Today we'll be, we will be going over a series of tutorials for the UDK matinee. Please make sure you have the UDK December 2011 build installed. Thanks for watching, and if you like our videos, please feel free to like, slash, comment, and describe. Thanks. All right, I'm going to set up a vehicle for effect for for the projectile to be spawned. So you're going to go to View, Browser Windows, Actor Classes. And I'm going to go down to Vehicles and select the Cicada. All right. And I'm going to select the Manta. I'm left clicking and dragging to place it into the world. The next thing I'm going to do is do the same exact thing for a target point. And I'll place that in front of the cicada. All right, that looks good. All right, now I'm going to open up Kismet. And I'm going to right click, say New Matinee. I'm going to select the cicada so that this matinee is attached to it. And I'm going to double click on matinee, then right click inside this gray area and select new empty group. And I'm going to name that group shoot group. Within shoot group, I'm now going to right click and select new event track. Now this new event track, I'm going to select the bar and move it over to about one second so it doesn't happen right away and I'm going to select add key and I'm going to name this key shoot now as you can see in the matinee it's now added as shoot for purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to add the event of of the level starting so that we can see it right away. So go to level loaded and drag this line over to play. All right, now we need to get a couple of, of variables for both the target point and the vehicle. So I'm going to go to new action, actor, get location and rotation. Now I need another one. I can just control C and control V and I can get another one like that. All right. The other thing I need is a new variable for vector and I can do the same exact thing for that one. Now, I need I need to be able to attach these to these get the objects to the get location and rotation. So I'm going to select it, select the target point in the world, then I'm going to right click and select new object var using target point 1. And I'm going to do the same exact thing for the vehicle. All right. Now I'm going to attach these to those. All right, the next thing that we're going to need to do is spawn this projectile. So go to New Action, Spawn Projectile. On the bottom you can see the projectile class. You want to select whichever one you would like to do. I'm going to select Loaded Rocket. Now you need to spawn the location. And I'm going to say the spawn location is that target point. And the target location is going to be this, the Manta that I created. The instigator, I need to create a new object. So I'm going to go to New Variable, Object, Object. And I'm going to select this as the instigator. All right, the sequence matters. So you've got to select Shoot, go to In, and just, just follow what I'm doing right now. Go out to In until you get to the spawn projectile. Now when the level loads, and it reaches one second, the projectile should spawn and fly towards the manta. All right, 
sometimes does that. See his and the rocket has spawned and shot towards the vehicle. Now I'm going to show you that it does actually spawn towards directly at the vehicle. I'm going to move this vehicle over here. All right. And there you go. And that's how to spawn a target point, a projectile from a target point towards an object. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please continue to part to the next part. If you wish to continue, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.